doesn't say that. Also here, this week, uh, a new ever of the high book came out. Book two, The Unfairness of Them All. I'm saying almost done with it so far. Although, the, although that's what this video about. Put on, 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 ever after high. A high school for the, uh, the science of the fairy tale. Fairy tale. Of fairy tale legends. Say new generation, Snow White, Evil Queen, all that. And I'm wondering, who is who? Well, well, the school had been split into two factions. Royals and rebels. The royals are the those that want their what were promised their happy ever after. The rebels they want to break from destiny and write their own ending. And that's something I'm more in favor of. Well let's break down the who. Starting with the rebels. Raven Queen, the daughter of the evil queen. Although she is meant to say be evil, like her but there's no evil in her heart. Although people still say fear her. She's a misunderstood girl that wants to follow her own destiny. But on Legacy Day, but she closed the book on destiny and proved that we all have to get to choose say their own destiny. Proving that there's no evil in her heart. So that did, didn't sit well with Apple White, the doll of Snow White, who I think is evil waiting to hatch. Who is supposed to say be the next Snow White does accept her destiny? Does to be queen, rule his own her own kingdom. And you get the whole idea. Although the exact theory of mine Well the common fan theory is well I'll probably at least explain later. Maddie Hatter, who is the best friend of Raven Queen. And the daughter of the Mad Hatter. She was a very interesting, yet very hypergenic little Hatter. In fact, she talks to narrators. But in the book, too, she's in, currently in a, in a predicament. Apple's, the Apple's best friend forever after is Briar Beauty, the daughter of, say, a sleeping beauty. Although, she seems to be more of a party goer than a, than to say to sleep for, say, a hundred years. But whenever, say, when they, she takes a study, there's a study session, or I was in a class, she goes out like a rock. You see what I meant. Now, Clarice Hood, no relation to Robin Hood, but Red Riding Hood, was, had some of a secret, always seemed to hide under his hood. Well, book two does seem to explain it, does will explain a lot of things. Oh, the website did, somewhat straight out explains it. What is it? Well, I think it's me to know and you to find out. Blonnie Logs is the news, sort of the newscast of Say of Ever Half the High End. How can she be a royal? The Goldilocks story is just of a girl, not of royalty. A common, regular girl that enters a, a bear's house, enters a bear house, so, turning out the power, the chairs, the beds. Well, you'll probably get the whole thing. I tell you, this is just wrong. Now, C.A. Cupid is so the love group. Why 
个毛毛。How can Monster High's Love Guru see a Cupid is doing a Monster High? And maybe that's some sort of some sort of. Well, anyway, it's just that she seems to swap from Monster High to Ever After High. How can? She keep those two worlds apart. And the other question is, when will they collide? Will they collide? Well, I think that might happen, one way or another. Although the the only love couple that someone got sadly got caught in this mix up was Ashlyn, Ella, the daughter of Cinderella, and Hunter Huntsman. Son of a huntsman. I know, kind of redundant for a name. See, they're, 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 they're just that the Romans would say, well, it's in say secret. Although, Duchess Swan, the daughter of the Swan Princess, who seems to have, seems, seems a bit bitter and mean, because she doesn't have a happily ever after, because she doesn't have a happily ever after. That's end up the pre Madonna personality. To end up say exposing him. But they announced it before she does it first. Well it well it does end up causing say some complication between her friends, but Ashen's friends but he knows that Ashland is his hunter is Ashland's Prince Charming. So she ends up defecting to Rebel. So although there's more Rebels than there are Aurorans, if Headmaster Grimm ain't careful, they might lead to an overthrow. That's what Rebels rebel, that's what Rebels are what do. Although I think Apple might be the key card for the possibility of a hatching evil. Now that I will explain now. Now consider this drawing of a heart, Apple's heart. Now consider this crack, which is the result of what happened, say, on Legacy Day. Now this crack, when she found out that Apple is dating Hunter, Yep, that close. That close to the bottom. Does be enough for some for some bad mojo. Deep out. If that thing goes to the bottom, the thing will go split to, and who knows what? And who knows what kind of evil apple will become? Probably greater than the wicked witch, and more evil than the evil queen. Which would be enough to fill the absence that she wanted. Now, now, Freeman was, say, supposed to be the evil queen, which the evil queen was the stepmother to, say, Snow White. How can she adopt her if they're the same generation? Probably almost the same age. Well, it's just that it's... Well, it's just that there's. Well, it's just. Well, that's one theory. The royals could be cousins of one of these. Well, in a different book, The Land of Stories, 
where two kids end up in say and do we save a world of same same fairy tales. When they came across say Prince Charmings. There were five Prince Charmings in total. One that married Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Rapunzel. The fifth was the Frog Prince. Anyway, that's the only thing that they could be related to each other. Why would... Why would Apple marry the, a cousin of the Charming Bat? Of one of her cousins? Uh, another thing that probably would not make any sense. But here's something that may. Apple and Raven may be sisters. Oh, most people are thinking that they were switched at birth because one that because one because Raven is more like Snow White and Apple's more like Evil Queen. But that may not be accurate. She might be. They might be sisters separated at birth. When I say, um, well, the, 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 chin, the lower chin almost look identical, almost match, given the possibility that they could be, they could be sisters. When I, when I propose this theory to, propose this theory, say, to the uh, author, she didn't give me the question because I could be dead right. Maybe that will only be revealed in the third book. But it could be. Well, that's all the time I have. This is Olson. Oh, Ivan. Oval. 